There's a nice in-store video for the uh, relaxing new LED underwater bung light. Retro fitting. It's retro fitting from a 25mm bung. Nice and easy, take the existing screws out and the existing bung. Straight into sealant. Make sure you use a good marine sealant. Sicker or 3M is what we would recommend. A bit up there to seal to, to glue as well as seal. Not, not forgetting the bolt the screw holes. Feed the cable through. As you can see, you do not have to drill another hole in the back of the boat for the cable. I'll put a bit of glue up there, but yeah, but to hold the whole lot. So. And we've made sure we've used a um, marine grade tin cable. It's essential in saltwater environments. Aluminium boat, so we're going to use some uh, any corrosion paste. Whatever your choice is, either <laughs> Duralac or Tef Gel. Same screws again. Well, it is supplied with screws, isn't it? Yep. As you can see, we've got our DIY safety boots on as well. <laughs> oh, Jesus handles. So as for the hardware, what was that? That was about a, about a three minute install. Yep. Retrofitting from 25mm bung to light. And we do recommend using just a screwdriver, not an electric drill. Most definitely. Um, you want to make sure that you don't over tighten the screws and, and every, strip. Every strip single the time. Every single time. Never use a screw, a, screw, a screw gun to put them in. So a bit of clean up and we'll hook up the electrical. Yep. Just using a nice clean rag to uh, wipe the sicker flex nice and evenly around the edge of the light. He's chosen the black sicker to match it in with the actual black housing with the bung. Another little trick if you've got it on hand as well is to use a little bit of terps with the um, rag and that'll help you uh, get that sicker nice and evenly placed around the edge as well. That's him. Now we're ready to fire up the, uh, or wire up the electrical. So it's a pull through wire to feed through, the actual, pull the actual cable through. Don't look too closely, but. <laughs> MIG wire, hey. MIG wire is the best with this stuff. It's nice and slippery. Yep. Mm. Where are we? We're down there somewhere? Look at it, right there. That's our cable. We'll keep it away from the transducer and from the bilge pump. It up to, I'll pin up to this one later because the transducer's been up to that one. Yep. Pin that nice little light. Yeah, this is a bit long enough, eh? A bit of tape. Anyway, as so you can see, the pull through cable has done its job. Okay, I'll just open that up a little bit. Get out of it. Easy. The wire strippers always. I'll start again. Always, always handy. Clean ends. I'm 
got some heat going on. Just the heat sink joiners. Or heat glue. sink ring terminals, I should say. They have glue in them too, so it actually glues to the outside of the sheeting as well. So not only are they mechanical, they also, they also glue. so we can get it working and show you. It looks like Tony needs a new switch panel. Alright, should we have a quick look? Righty go, all wired up. And there you go. Working? Yep. Sweet. Imagine it would be a bit light. With a blue LED underwater light and you'll see some in use shots in the water very soon.